Okay, here I'm going to show two different uh, amortization schedules for a loan. So let's first look at uh, what are uh, the parameters of our loan. Here we've got four equal payments and we receive them at the end of each of the next four years. So we got a total of $4,000 worth of payments. So we discount those payments back to their uh, present value here in, in using a 10% interest rate in this case and I got $3,170 for those annuity payments that we received at the end of each of the next four years. Now this $3,170, their uh, present value here uh, is our principal amount of this loan. That represents the principal. Now if we look at the total payments here of $4,000 less their present value here of $3,170 the difference here is $830 and that's the interest that we have to amortize over the life of that loan either as a uh, interest payable or an interest receivable. So let's look at our first method here for our amortizing this loan. So we start out with a beginning balance here of $3,170. Then we add in our interest expense or revenue for the year and then that would be 10% times the $3,170 or $317 worth of interest for the year. Next we subtract out that payment that's made at the end of each year. In this case it's $1,000. Now subtracting that from the 3170 plus the 317 gives us an ending balance here, here of $2,487. So the ending balance of year one becomes be beginning balance of year two and then we um, determine our interest here by taking 10% our interest rate times the beginning balance here and we get an interest expense or, or uh, expense or revenue here. Add those two together less the payment give us, gives us the ending balance of year two which becomes our beginning balance of year three. Now what this schedule uh, isn't showing you directly is the principal reduction on the loan. That's the amount that this ending balance is being reduced by each year. Now that principal reduction is included here in this payment amount but to determine that you have to subtract out the interest. So if you would subtract uh, the interest each year from this uh, payment amount you would be showing the principal. Now uh, that's that's something you have to look for if they're quizzing you on a problem and you have to have a, you have to have a pretty good understanding of what's going on in here. Now looking at this next schedule it's a little bit more intuitive where you begin your uh, uh, balance, the beginning balance is the same, $3,170, and then you have your payment amount here. Now this payment amount again includes both the interest and the principal amount. So you determine your interest in the same fashion. That would be uh, a 10% interest rate times your beginning balance there of $3,170, and you get $317 worth of interest here. Now you subtract this interest of $317 from the payment amount, and you get uh, your principal amount. That's the amount that the loan is being reduced by each period. So here you've got your interest calculated and your uh, principal is based on the uh, payment amount less the interest. Now that this here shows uh, the principal di reduction directly and it's a little bit more intuitive and a little bit easier to understand when you're amortizing a loan. So you have to be careful when you're solving your problems. Uh, they may quiz you on uh, giving you one amount and then you have to be able to determine what is in it. For example here, you're given the payment amount up here and then your interest amount, you have to understand that this payment includes the uh, principal amount. So you'd have to subtract the interest from the payment to determine the principal. Here it's done more directly here. It's a little easier to understand. So be aware of both of these uh, schedules and be able to understand how you calculate the interest and the principal in each one of these uh, schedules.